Let's get the hip hop philosophy class going. And I want to get started with some outcasts today. I know you like to think your sh don't stink, but I being was friends a little with bit Virgil, closer, yes, and the roses I was very really smell like poo poo. Now let's examine that Fonty. closer class. Um, what is Fonty? Fonty, I have a surprise. Uh, sorry, class. I have to go for homework tonight. Just give me a thousand words on why bitches ain't shit, but hoes and tricks. All right, bye bye now. I think I have something great for you here. Oh, really? Well, that's really nice of you, man. Thank you so much. What is it? This week, I wanted to make a fun, practical summer accessory that anyone could afford. Oh, man, yeah, that's something I can totally get behind. Only trouble is, VF Corp said that if they wanted affordable, they would just fire my fat ass. So I decided to go with this. Oh, nothing more practical and affordable than a $12,000 air hockey table. That's... That's what they say. I feel like I'm chosen, I'm covered in gold. Welcome back, friends, to another edition of Fauntleroy's Finest, and today we're going to talk about Supreme's Week 14 drop list. <laughs> Although not the best week I've ever seen Supreme give us, definitely a lot better than the last few weeks have been. I don't think I can stomach any more of this garbage. We're getting a cool collaboration with the Hollywood Trading Company. They have some wallets, some belts, some keychains. I also really dig these archive denim pieces, the jacket and the pants. And then obviously I had that extra 12K put away for one reason and one reason only, air hockey table. We're gonna go over all those items and everything else dropping. I got the retails, everything for you. But first, if you enjoy these videos, you should like this one right now go ahead hit the subscribe button down below and make sure you turn on notifications so you know when I post a new video the channel's been getting a ton of views this month mostly in part to the daily short videos that I've been posting like this gem <laughs> I like how FTP is just sitting back and watching the drama unfold. And I want to thank everyone that was on the 1500 subscriber live stream. It was a really fun time and some of you folks walked away with great gifts including one Inside Out Box logo hoodie. Congratulations to all the winners and thanks again for all the support. And if you want up to the minute information on all things streetwear related, go ahead and join the Fauntleroy's Finest Discord. Larry keeps the streetwear calendar updated to the minute and Manny keeps you informed on all the upcoming shoes that are gonna be released. Best thing is the Discord is free. All you have to do is click the link in the description below. All right, enough of the garbage. Let's get into this drop. <laughs> Stay tuned. First up, the sequin striped zip-up polo. Now this is weird to me. This seems like two different worlds that should never have collided. The basic dad golf polo shirt and a drag queen show amount of sequins. When you come, you come to sway, mama. I really don't know what to say about this. Um, it's definitely a particular vibe. Not my vibe. Next up, we have the knit striped tank top. I don't really feel this one at all, honestly. If you, if you need one of these, great, but, uh, yeah, let's keep going. Words are your second language, sir. Next, we have the Joan of Arc five panel. Um, uh, it's okay. I'm not really a big fan of five panels, and it has way too much text on it. Uh, it could have probably been better if it was just that big picture of Joan of Arc on it and not all the text. I can't recommend this hat for anything other than the personal, so if you want it, great, but otherwise, keep going. Okay! Next up, we have the Washed Script Short Sleeve Top. Now, I have one of these from the last time they released. They're definitely not a reseller or anything. They're a decent personal, really good price point on the short sleeve top at $54. That is literally the bottom floor of short sleeve tops. But I don't really see these reselling, and they're probably going to sit for a while. So, holla, bitch, holla, sit holla, down. Holla, holla. Next up, we have the Divine Zip Up Hooded Sweatshirt. Divine is a drag queen from Australia, I believe. Supreme has used images of divine on things before this isn't new it's a pretty cool piece but i definitely see this as being more of a personal than than anything else so if you like it great and if not we're gonna keep going go i'm gone 
Killed it. Well, I am. Next up, the Supreme Hollywood Trading Company keychain. That's right, a $68 keychain. Honestly, not a really bad price point for anything Hollywood Trading Company. Usually their items are pretty hefty in price. I could definitely see these keychains selling out because the other items in the collection are so expensive. And personally, I kind of like the more out there one. That cow pattern is, is pretty neat. The denim one actually looks good too. And black is usually pretty decent. Always bet on black. And if you just want to pick up a piece from the Hollywood Trading Company collaboration, obviously this is the best price point to do so with. Next up, the Supreme Hollywood Trading Co. wallet. Now this sucker is $248. It kind of looks more like a wallet that someone would have in their purse to me than an actual wallet that a man would carry around in their back pocket. I'm honestly not really feeling this wallet at all. I don't really like it. If I was going to pick one of the colorways here, I'd probably go with the denim one, to be honest with you. It makes the bedazzlement pop a little bit more than on the the other colorways. What a time to be alive. 248 is a dumb price for a wallet. I don't really see any resale in it at that retail price. I'm gonna have to say that these are probably personals as well. It, it, it'll really just depend on the amount of stock that is made. But I don't really see people wanting to pay that much more for any of these items, to be fair. Next up, we have the Old English Nylon Short. I don't ever really see these reselling. There'd be a very, very small chance that that would happen. So again, another personal. If you want it, great. If not, let's keep going. Eat my shorts. Next up we have the perfect season football jersey. Now actually I think this is a really really good football jersey and I really dig that valentine type colorway. The cream and red and the little bit of pink hits on it. I could see bigger sizes of that jersey doing pretty well for you. With a price point of 118 as well, it's really not that risky of a buy. I think there's a lot of room for this jersey to have some profit. I'm a fan of all three colorways. Obviously, the Valentine's Day one I think will be the best. The black should also be able to have some decent value. And, and I really don't like the white that much, to be honest with you. I'd say that Valentine's Day one XXL probably going to be a good pickup. And the black one should be as well. Get me one of these. Next up, we have the Supreme Hangs Tank Top 3 Packs. That's right, they're back. All you guys that haven't been able to beat your girlfriends or wives now will have the ability to do so again with your uniform. Hey, what happened? If you really need to buy your tank tops from Supreme, well, then they're here this week. So go ahead and get them. They're not going to sell out. They should sit for a while. Next up, we have the short sleeve bunnies work shirt. Honestly, I'm seeing people talk about this one, and it is kind of an interesting piece. I don't know. Those bunnies are kind of cool. I, I think I actually dig the white version of this jersey better than the black one. They're both pretty similar. I, I just feel like the whole graphic pops a little bit better on the white for, for whatever reason. I don't know. It might be something to take a gamble on in the bigger sizes, but again, this would be pretty risky to be fair. But it is a cool piece, and I could see a little bit of potential there for for this thing doing well down the road next up the small box baggy mesh short $98 is still a little bit hefty for some basic ass shorts these aren't really for me and I don't really see any resale value in them either so let's keep going next up the supreme Hollywood trading company studded belt honestly a pretty good belt I can get behind almost any of those colorways to be fair the black one obviously is the nicest of the bunch that cow pattern one would be fun to take out every now and again and the denim one could look all right with the right outfit as well if my mother was naked and dead in the street i would not cover her body with that these are going to be 268 dollars it seems now actually that's not really that bad i was looking at the website and it looked like 310 euros for something kind of similar so maybe we're getting a little bit of a discount here who knows if there was an item that was going to do well from the hollywood trading company collaboration it would be this belt i feel like these will probably sell out 268 seems a a little expensive to gamble on these for reselling but they are a really cool piece i could definitely see the bigger sizes of the black and cow pattern belt doing well but really it's all going to depend on how much stock is there well i'm glad you shared that with me next up i'm going to put these two together and make them my sleeper of the week i really like this archive denim collection i think it really looks cool looks like we're getting two colorways of the pant and the jacket uh, a blue and a black i, I think i kind of I like the black a little bit better because it's just a little more subtle on those things than it is on the blue. I would be happy with either colorway to be fair. 
usually when they do pieces like this the jeans tend to do a little bit better than the jackets do 248 is is pretty expensive for a pair of jeans though so i i kind of want to lean into the jacket here i think an xxl xl jacket in blue or black most likely will do pretty good in the future that's a huge bitch again we're in the middle of summer and nobody really wants a jacket right now i don't even think these jackets will sell out to be fair like you could probably show up over the weekend and pick out most of anything you're gonna want this week and if you were gonna go after the jeans usually 38s are the ones that do the best because they have the least amount of stock but again both of these are a little expensive for what they are which makes them just a little more risky if you're wanting to buy them for reselling Danger is my middle name. Next up, the Pigment Canvas S Logo 6 panel. If you get anything this week, please throw one of these into your cart. They do extremely well. I got two of these in 2020. I sold one for 200 and I kept the other one. I sold another one in 2021 for like 150. These things go up quickly. They don't churn these out like they do box logo camp caps. Usually all the colorways do pretty good with this hat as well. Obviously black is the one you should go after first. That burgundy one is also a really cool colorway. There's that dark khaki one. That actually is a really cool colorway as well. And the denim one. So denim colorways usually do pretty decent uh, over time as well. The other colorways you might can just kind of skip on. But the best idea would be to just focus on the black one and go after that. Otherwise, grab whatever colorway you want to put on your head. But I'll say it again. If you are getting a cart this week, for sure, throw one of these hats into it. I want it now! Speaking of hats, you should throw in your cart the Kevlar camp cap, especially the one with the red box logo on the front. But quite honestly, all of these colorways make nice hats. I really would stay away from the cream one just because they get so dirty so fast. But the black, the purple, the green, the gray is my favorite, obviously. All good hats, and the price points aren't that bad. Again, if you're picking up anything this week, this camp cap and the six panel we just saw should both get into your cart. Hopefully that will make free shipping and then you'll have two items as well that will do really well in time. Cool. And finally, for all you big ballers out there, we have the Supreme Valley LED air hockey table. That's right, guys. For the low, low price of $12,000, <laughs> this could be yours. And what's great about this thing for anyone in a studio apartment, when it's time to go to bed, just throw the mattress up on top of this baby, turn it on, you get instant air conditioning. This thing is both one of the coolest accessories they've ever made and one of the silliest things they've ever done combined at the same time. This is 100% going into a bunch of stores and that's probably about it. So hopefully we'll get into one of these hype beast stores that has a air hockey table in it one day and, and we'll be able to play one of these things. It's a super cool like high-end professional air hockey table. I don't know if professional air hockey is a thing but if it is it would be played on one of these. But at a $12,000 price point I really don't see any reason to buy this thing for reselling. I had to say it. I finally feel like I know stuff. All right, guys, there you go. Week 14 drop list in the books. Not a bad week. Not a great week, but definitely not a bad week. There are a couple of really decent pieces. Obviously, those hats are probably some of the best hats we'll see this season. I really like that archive denim stuff. Both the jacket and the pants, I think both of them look great. And this Hollywood Trading Company belt is a must for all you rhinestone cowboys out there. Like a rhinestone cowboy. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are going after anything this week. Thank you guys for joining me here today and watching the video. And if for any reason this video has not given you the Fauntleroy fill that you need in your life today, well, then you should check out these videos right here. Soldier boy, I'm in it. Oh. Why me crack it? Why me roll? Why me crack that soldier boy that Superman that